Hey there, Internet Keith here, and welcome to the Cars of Keith YouTube channel. And in this video, we're going over the Ultimate Wash Cart version 5. I want to apologize ahead of time for my voice. It's going to be a little off in this video. I'm very congested, not feeling very well, but we're going to push through this. Now, why another wash cart version when you now have a full wash bay and a wall mount setup? Well, I still have an upper driveway. This will reside in the upper garage, just in case I want to wash cars up there when it's really nice outside. And this is a much easier cart to get around than the one before. Version 4 was like the ultimate heavy-duty cart. And sometimes it's a little bit too big, too wide, and it's heavy. This is definitely not as strong, but it's much nicer than most of the ones that you're going to see at like Harbor Freight and places like that. This actually is pretty sturdy. We have the pegboard on both sides, so we'll be able to mount our hose reel and mount our water filtration on the other side. We went leaner on the water filtration. We don't have a two-stage and a DI. We just have the single DI. On the other cart, we had a whole entire retractable hose system for just the rinseless wash. We're not going to do that. We're going to utilize this current hose to do the DI rinse on the final stage. This previous cart, you can see how much bigger it is than the other one I was using this for a previous video, my last one. You can't get this anywhere. I was able to find it for $99 on Amazon. I don't know how. It was the only one in stock. It said one left. So I think somebody's just trying to resell something they bought on some pallet auction. The brand's called Shutter. Like, I'm, I'm telling you, this thing is nice but like right now on industrial sites like five hundred dollars it's just too much so i felt kind of bad that you weren't able to get something like this so i tried to find a cart because people commented all the time what alternative cart could you find have you been able to find anything that works just as good as this one well i found it it's on amazon uh it's in three different versions so you can get one more pegboard on one side you get one more pegboard on both sides there's one without the pegboard they range between $130 and like $165. Really good price for what you get. Because like I said, this is much sturdier than the Harbor Freight metal cart or some of the cheaper metal carts. This one has really nice casters. Like I said, it's not as sturdy. You hear the difference without moving around versus... You can just hear the difference. That's because this thing right here weighs probably three to four times what this one does. Now I just check it's still on Amazon. They have 10 left of each different type of version. Uh, this is the $160 version. Like I said, it's got double pegboard. Now, one thing to note, you will need to modify the cart by drilling holes because none of these pegboard uh, holes line up perfectly to fit the hose reel. You can fit one through, but the rest you're going to have to drill out a little bit to be able to get it to fit. Same thing with the filter on the other side. I mounted it lower. I mounted it more on the beam here, so it's a little bit stronger there. So I can have more room for the tools on the pegboard. Now this isn't necessarily what I use all the time to wash a car, but I felt like it was a nice mix of bottle sizes uh, and different types of foam cannons and stuff like that. And you can see how they fit in here. And with these dividers, I use a memory foam tape. Uh, I'll leave a link below. It's, it's open cell foam. So it's not like the foam you find around the window trim that's like really flimsy. This is almost like memory foam and it, it recovers really, really well. And it self sticks, so you can stick it in here. That way, you can fit just about anything. You can fit multiple bottle sizes within the same divider. Start on the side, it's a general pump 50 foot hose reel, the same one I have on my wall mount setup. This is a 50 foot non marking hose, really nice, heavy. It's about 50, 60 bucks on Amazon, depending on the sale price. Just it's worked out really well. It's on my wall mount setup. It's the same brand that I had before on this cart, the 50 foot hose, but that one's just been wore out and it's really dirty. This one right here is much newer. Coming out of the hose reel into the back of the V52 is a three foot jumper hose. This is from the old wash cart. I've reused quite a few parts. There's no use in buying new ones. At the end of that jumper hose is a three inch quick disconnect, female MPT threads. And coming out of the active V52 to connect to that is a 15 millimeter M22 to three inch plug. Now the new V52s come with a 15 millimeter to 14 millimeter adapter. Now you could take that Put it on the back and then you'll be able to reuse any of the 14 millimeters that you may have laying around now the ve52 fits nice and snug in the bottom here you can't just put it straight in you have to kind of hold it at an angle to get it in there so it fits real nice it's just a little difficult to get in and out but it does fit out of the front of the ve52 is a quick disconnect for a garden hose and then we will use a hose to connect that to the deionization the reason i don't have that set up permanently some kind of piping system is because i still want this cart to be universal and expandable and i could just take this v52 out and go use it for another job and not have it just stuck in here so that's why everything is quick disconnect and easily put in and taken out and we have our hose that we hide down there at the bottom that clicks in right here and then 
the output from the deionization is right there. This is the Max Water Water Purifier System. Now this has the deionization filters in it. Now you can put any filter in here. It doesn't have to be deionization. I use that for the final rinse, but it's your normal 10 inch universal filters. These filters are just filled up with DI resin, which allows them to purify the water to a zero PPM, which is spot free water. Coming into the Max Water is a quick disconnect. That way we can connect the hose from the house or whatever right into the system or we can connect it directly into the front of the active vp2 bypassing deionization one thing i like best about the max water is it allows two gallons per minute flow rate which you could run the active vp2 with this setup at still zero ppm water it does not have a restriction on the output like some of the other ones i believe the aquatic life i think it has a restriction on the output and it can't do two gallons per minute on the side here you can see all these pegboard hooks that came with this cart They'll work really well. Uh, we have our hard bristle tire brush, our lug nut brush, or our small detail brush. Uh, we have our wheel and tire brush, a softer bristle one here. The easy detail brush here, this is a smaller version. I actually kind of prefer this now for the barrels of the wheels. The other one's much larger, doesn't fit the cart very well. Uh, I just like this. I bend it at a little bit of an angle so it fits here really nice. Uh, it's bendable. You can bend it as much as you want without breaking it. The Active V52 is such a great pressure washer. They've made so many improvements. Uh, over the last year or two and the newer versions that you could buy right now are updated speaking of the active v52 i recently did a giveaway with this now i put it at the very end of a video and i wanted to be somebody who watched all the way through i didn't advertise it at all so if you watched all the way through you had a chance to win and that winner is mr sparkle so i'll be in touch with you soon about winning your active v52 now i'm going to have another giveaway down the road but i'm not going to advertise it you're gonna to have to watch my videos all the way to the end at the end of my videos, you may get a sneak peek for something in the future. You may get some bloopers or you may get a giveaway. Now your middle tray and your top tray are the exact same. They all have the same mounting holes. So you can put your dividers in the middle or the top. You have one bay divider down the middle here that I did. And that's where I keep my, this is my McKillen's wand. So on the inside, you can put the pegboard hooks on the inside as well. And that's where I have my STS-28 gun. Uh, just amazing overall. I am going to be getting the new active one soon. So... There'll be a nice review on that. Now, top here is the versatility of this divider system. We have on the side here is a big area where we can keep our, our nozzle guards. We can also do things with those, I'm sure, to mount those easily. Our plastic wrench for our deionization system. Currently have up here DOA detail, incredible suds, rinse wash, ceramic gloss. Uh, we do quick beat. I do all kinds of their products. But you see how this size bottle fits fine. You have an invisible glass that fits perfectly fine in there. This expanding foam allows you to have different size bottles. You see we have a super clean bottle here sideways. We have press all bottles over here as well. These are a little bit snug in here. So you gotta kinda pull it out, it's fine. We wanna put it in, you gotta kinda push the side down and it fits right in. We have our solo battery powered sprayer right here. As you can see, it leaves a nice concave in here. But this will recover over time and become fully squared out again. So if you want to change up what's here, you can. It's not like you're stuck with the way this is. That will recover over time. Same with the IK Pro 2 Plus. Fits right in there, as you can see. We have our S3.0 from MJJC that fits in there nice and snug. MJJC Pro that fits in there nice and snug as well. I just think it just works awesome like this with this tape. This can be replaceable. Before we had foam throughout, we had to cut into it, and it was much more expensive. It's only like $14 or $15 for two 13 foot rolls, which is more than enough. Now you can see it's a little bare. Now there's things you could put in here. Winter, winter washing gloves to protect your hands. Uh, waterproof shoes to wash with, they'll fit in here as well. There's so many things that you can do down here in the bottom. There's just so much room. And I wanted to make this a leaner, more simple design, not so much going on. You have a hose reel, you have a deionization, pressure washer, you have your products, and there you go. You can do whatever you want. There's plenty of room to add, do whatever you want. One thing I will advise, this pegboard is not as strong as my previous cart. So make sure you're using the backing plate that comes with the hose reel. You have one on one side that you can use with wood screws to put against a, a wall, but that also comes with the bolts and the nuts to be able to put this on, say, the side of a cart. Now, a good idea, you could get a much larger piece of sheet metal, maybe like one inch, inch thick, uh, maybe like this big around to kind of disperse the strength out. Uh, but this is more than enough. This is going to be just fine. 50 foot hose isn't heavy. The hose reel is much smaller. It reels in really nice uh, and it unreels really nice. Like there isn't a whole lot of pressure that you're going to be pulling on that metal a lot. Well, there you go. This ultimate wash cart version five, a much simpler, leaner, 
version. I believe it's better overall than the other one. Just so much going on, so big and heavy. I think it's much more durable for things around the garage for me to do, holding tools and working on the car. This is much better, I think, for the wash car. Like I said, it's wider, it's slightly smaller. It's gonna fit in confined spaces a lot better. Uh, the 50 foot hose reel is much smaller. It helps the cart be more confined. We have all the quick disconnects. You can take it apart, put it back together. Nothing is permanent. So once again, congratulations, Mr. Sparkle. I will be in touch with you about winning. Check future videos down to the end later on for the next giveaway for the Beat 56. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.